do this really fast. Oh, it's going. Right. Uh, the functions are given there. State the range of, oh, range of f and the range of g. Right. Great. Um, it's a bit confusing having these positive constants in there. But if we think about this, uh, f of x, the modulus sign means anything in there is going to be positive. At the smallest that could possibly be is 0, isn't it? So we've got 3a plus 0. So the whole thing, the smallest that anything could possibly be, is 3a. So f of x, f of x is greater than or equal to 3a. g of x, well g of x is just, um, there's no modulus, it's just a straight line. It's the line 5x minus 4a, gradient 5, y-intercept minus 4a. That would give us all values. So g of x, or real Values. Remember, we're talking about the range, actually. Strictly speaking, I should have written y greater than 3a for f of x, but f of x greater than equal to 3a is acceptable. That's it. There we go. Um, fine. Part two. State why f has no inverse. This was really poorly done because so many people said uh, it's a modulus. I'm not sure that those people who wrote it's a modulus were convinced that they knew why it's a modulus means that it doesn't have an inverse, but it was something to say. Um, why does it have no inverse? Well, think about what kind of functions have, what has to be true of a function to have an inverse. We know that in order to have an inverse, a function has to be a one-to-one -one function. And f of x is not a one-to-one -one function. <coughs> and, and that's... That's enough, isn't it, I think? Um, that's all that we need. f of x is not a one-to-one -one function. Okay? You have to make sure that the statement that you make is correct. It's not a one-to-one -one function. So that means it's another kind of function. It's a many-to-one function. It's not a one-to-many function. And if you state it's a one-to-many function, then you won't get the credit, even if you said it's a one-to-one -one function. What you've got to say has got to be true. Okay, so um, there are, because of the modular sign, there are two x values that give us one y value, aren't there? So it's many to one. Um, and... Uh, Find an expression for the inverse of g. Well, this was actually, this was fairly well done. We start by saying y equals 5x minus 4a. We rearrange it. y plus 4a is 5x. We divide by 5. y plus 4a over 5 is x. So g to the minus 1 of x is x plus 4a over 5. There was a slightly bizarre thing of some people moving minus 4a over there and still having it being minus 4a. I don't know why that happened, but that was quite a common mistake. It was getting late in the, in the exam. Part 3. Solve. That's, that's just five marks just for doing that. Solve, the, solve for x the equation g of f of x is 31a. Now, this was quite hard because there was a lot going on here. And you just had to be really slow and deliberate and careful and do things step by step. So where's my, where's my question? The question said, uh, f, g of f of x is g of f of x. So g of that means we're inputting that, that is 5 times... The modulus of 2x plus a plus 3a minus 4a is 31a. So we had to do that bit first. We now need to deal with that whole multiplying by 5 thing. Notice the 5 is multiplying the 3a as well. That's 5 lots of the modulus of 2x plus a plus 15a minus 4a is 31a. 
there was lots of careless bits going on, like people missing the 15 A, people losing an A somewhere along the way, which meant that things don't kind of balance out as nicely. Five modulus of 2x plus A. Now, if I take all of these terms to the other side, I think, well, 31A plus 4A is 35A. Take away the 15 gives me 20A. So I've got the modulus of 2x plus A is 4A, once I've divided through by my 5. That's just a standard modulus equation. Okay, we've got A hanging around in there, but it's still, it's the kind that we would say 2x plus A could be equal to 4A. Or the minus of 2x plus a could be equal to 4a. I'm going to write 2x plus a could be minus 4a and do it that way. Remember how we think about these if we draw the graph and do it that way? You could square things and do it that way as well. But this way is so much easier. x is 3 over 2a, there's one solution. 2x is minus 5a, so x is minus 5 over 2a is the other solution, and there it is. Again, it's another question that there, I, I hope that looks quite easy, but in practice, under pressure, that all sorts of stuff went wrong for people.